warm up for today's workout. We have seal claps for 20 reps, inchworms for 10, and then lunges will do 10 on each side. Then we have two rounds of close leg elevated goblet squats for an AMRAP. Then we will superset that with RDLs for 15 reps. Then we'll move on to another two round circuit where we'll do leg lifts for 15 to 20 reps, supersetting those with Superman for 10 reps. Then we have another two round circuit of push up holds for 15 to 30 seconds. And we'll superset those with rows for 12 seconds. After we finish that, we got a three round circuit of mountain climbers, 15 on each leg, which totals out to 30 total. Then we got planks for 30 seconds to a minute, and we got donkey kicks for 12 reps on each side. First up, seal claps. It's just like jumping jacks, except you're just gonna come in like this. You start like that, bring it in. Come out, bring it in. Just like that. So you do 20 of those, and if you can't do those, you can modify them this way, just to open up step out like that. Then we have inchworms and lunges. For inchworms, you will get down in push-up position. Walk your hands back as far as you can. Walk them back out, that counts as one. So you'll do 10 of those. You got 10 lunges on each leg. For those, just gonna, just gonna step out like that. Repeatedly, we can alternate them. I would suggest alternating them. Make sure you step down nice and deep so you can target those glutes. The elevated close leg goblet squats. All you should do is just something that you can step on. So put your feet on. That killer. So I'm going to use a weight. I'm going to put the back of my heels on it so my heels will be elevated. Kettlebell in front of me, legs gonna be a little bit closer than usual. Squat down just like that. This is more quad dominant exercise. So, if you cannot do those, what you can do is you can either do wall sits with a weight in your hand. So, you can either just do a regular wall sit, hold the kettlebell like that, or you can do lunges. It's gonna hit the same muscle. So, afterwards, you'll keep your kettlebell, you'll do an RDL, 15 reps. So, hold the kettlebell in front of you, get a nice stance, keep your knees slightly bent. You're gonna hinge over at your hips, keeping the kettlebell close to your body. As you go down, you're gonna go down to about your calves. You're gonna stand back up nice and strong. When you go down, make sure that your back is flat. We'll kind of arch your back just a little bit. And try to think about pushing your butt back towards the wall and standing back up. 15 reps. Then we have leg lifts. Super set it with super. So for leg lifts, put your hands in front of your back. Lift your legs up and stop it from hitting the ground. Just like that. Now if that causes trouble, there's two modifications you can do. So keep your hands under, start with your knees bent, kick out, bring them back in. Don't let them touch the floor in this exercise either. Now if that's too difficult, you can try a very old school ab exercise called six inches. So you'll start out with your feet on the floor, lift up and hold it at roughly about six inches. And we'll try to hold those for 15, 30 seconds since we can't do the uh, leg lifts, if you can't do the leg lifts. After we should do Superman's, just gonna lay on the floor Arms out, legs out, spread out like Superman. Come up, squeeze those glutes, squeeze that lower back. And again, we'll do 
15 to 20 leg lifts for two rounds, and then we got 10 supermans. Afterwards, we got a push up hold for 15 to 30 seconds, superset it with rows. So, for a push up hold, it's just like a regular push up, just gonna hold the position a little bit deeper. So, get down in push up position, bend your elbows a little bit, and hold it, just like that. And if that doesn't work, you can hold it like this in a high plank position. After you finish the first set, you'll do rows. So you'll take two dumbbells or two kettlebells. You do them two at a time or one at a time. So if you're doing two at a time, I've got my kettlebell. Let me grab another one. These can be done with kettlebells or dumbbells. It doesn't really matter. Get your stance right by hip width apart. Bend your knees, hands over at the hips like an RDL. Keep the weights on the outside of your legs and pull up just like that. Imagine pulling suitcases up off the floor. Keep that back flat as you do these. So keep that back nice and flat. Just like that. So with those, you'll do 12 reps on those. And afterwards, we got a three round circuit. Mountain climbers. 15 on each leg, 30 total. A plank for 30 seconds to a minute, and donkey kicks. So first, for mountain climbers, you're down in push-up position. All you're gonna do, bring your knees up, nice and strong. Make sure you really squeeze that core. Just like that. 15 on each side. Then we'll drop down to a plank on our elbows. Make sure that back's flat. Squeeze everything, squeeze the glutes, the core, quads, everything. Really focus on breathing. You'll hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. Then you'll transition into donkey kicks. So you'll stay on your hands and knees. So make sure your back is flat on knees. Make sure you kick up to the ceiling like that. So you can really target that glute. A lot of people kick straight back. That works, but I really want you to kick up so you can really hit that glute. Just like that. So think about trying to push the ceiling with your feet. Try to keep that leg in a straight line as you push back. 